This is Daniel Cook learning about space. Hi, I'm here with Dave, and today he is going to teach me about space. Hi, Dave. Hi, Daniel. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. Have you ever been in space? Well, I have been lucky enough to fly in space. I was in space for 16 days in 1998, and in two years I'm going to be flying in space again. Ooh. Can I come with you? That would be a pretty neat mission. I don't know. We'll have to ask the Canadian Space Agency, see what they say. What is it like flying on a space shuttle? You know, flying on the shuttle is pretty amazing. We travel 25 times the speed of sound. That's 10 kilometers every second. If I snap my fingers, shuttles travel 10 kilometers. We go around the world once every 90 minutes, every hour and a half. We've gone all the way around the world. And we get to see a sunrise and a sunset every 45 minutes. It's pretty incredible. Hmm, maybe I should be a paleontologist and an astronaut. How do you become an astronaut? You know, it takes years to train to be an astronaut, but we take people from all sorts of scientific backgrounds. So you could be a geologist and go to Mars and study planetary geologist. Ooh. Maybe you could be a paleontologist studying dinosaurs here on Earth and become a planetary paleontologist. Who knows? Ooh, that would be fun. What room is this? This is mission control, and this is where all the controllers talk to the astronauts on the Mars transfer vehicle. We're going to be getting into the Mars transfer vehicle on our way to Mars. How do we get to the Mars transfer vehicle? Well, you know, we're going to take an elevator ride up to the spacecraft that we're going to use to lift off from Earth, go and rendezvous with the space station, and the Mars transfer vehicle is attached to the space station. Hey, Dave, can we go right now? Absolutely, Daniel. Let's go. This is Daniel Cook pretending to go to space. So here we are, we're inside the elevator, getting ready to go to Mars on our mission. You ready to go up? Okay. Here we are. You feel it moving? Yeah. It's pretty incredible. It shakes around a little bit, but this is going to take us all the way up to our spacecraft, and we're going to go out through that door to get on board our spacecraft to go to Mars. Here we are, we're all set. I'm ready to launch. So am I. I think this is going to be a pretty incredible flight. Let's get into our seats and we'll get into the launch position. You all set for this? Yeah. Lift off. Lift off. Now the engines are tailing off, getting ready. Oh, there's main engine cutoff. Here we are. And now we got to go through our docking airlock on board. Welcome aboard, Daniel and Dave, to the Mars transport vehicle. This is my friend Teresa, and Hello. Teresa's going to be Hi, taking Daniel. us to undock and take us on our way to Mars. Ooh. How far is Mars from Earth? It's about 230 million kilometers away. Yes. It's... How long would it take for us to travel to Mars? Well, it would take anywhere from six to nine months. Wow. Have you ever touched a real meteorite? Yes, I have. It's Ooh. very different, too, from regular Earth rocks and minerals. What does it feel like? Well, would you like to touch one? Ooh, what experiment is this? This is called our glove box experiment. So then as you can see, Daniel, we have several minerals inside the glove box. Now, understanding uh, a lot about rocks and minerals here on Earth will help us understand about the rocks and minerals on Mars. Why do we have to wear gloves? Well, because we don't want to contaminate any of the samples. Now, several of these are minerals, but one in particular is special. It's a meteorite. And I we, think this one's a meteor. Which one? Black one. You're absolutely right. Let's look at it. Do you feel anything different about the meteorite compared to maybe one of the other samples? It's quite lumpy. Lumpy? How about the weight of it? Does that sample seem heavy for its size? Yeah. Yeah. That's because its, it's composition is mostly metal, iron and nickel. Now, Daniel, there's a compass inside there, and if you pass the meteorite over the compass, now what do you notice? It makes the compass move the other way. Mm-hmm. And what do you think that indicates? That it's a meteorite. Mm-hmm, and it's magnetic. How about the other? Yes, try another sample and see if it makes the compass move. Nope. Can we try 
try another experiment? Absolutely. What experiment is this? Well, Daniel, we've got some uh, dangerous chemicals behind an isolated chamber, and we're going to use a robot arm to help measure the volume and the mass of these chemicals. Doing a great job. Yeah, beautiful. There, there we, go. we go. Looks good. Beautiful. Yeah, great job. Thank you so much, Dave and Teresa, for teaching me about space. It was so cool. Oh, it was our pleasure. It's our pleasure.